How do watts work on amplifiers with no preamp? <laughs> Jeff in Syracuse, New York wants to know, and he says, my question is about wattage. When you have an amplifier with no volume control, and the volume is controlled by the preamp, how does that work? Does the amp put out all of the power at all times, but just does it more quietly at lower volumes? Or does it start out with one watt being used and then added to that as the voltage goes up? Does it work the same in integrated amps like Sprout? You know, those, uh, those of us that really, you know, kind of understand it might scoff at this question, but it, 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 it isn't something that I would. And, and it's because, you know, there's, this is, well, it is and it isn't complicated stuff. From an engineering perspective, you know, it's, it's a lot to learn. It's a lot to understand. And people don't really get how all this works. So I am always delighted and very appreciative of very basic questions like this because it, it tells me that we haven't, as an industry, haven't done a good enough job at, at helping people understand how all this works. How do we get sound to come out of, the, uh, of an amplifier? How do we, how do we uh, you know, what does a preamp do here? I mean, we're, you know, we're turning it up and down. What's, what the hell is it doing? What's a DAC? How's all that work? So part of the reason I do these, these videos, this series, is to try and answer those most basic of questions. And I know we get kind of off over here and we get off over there, but to me, these questions, these basic questions are the ones that I love the best because they're juicy. And I know of the 70,000 or so people that watch this series, how, how mystifying this can be. And anything I can do to help solve that, to help bring uh, or shine a light onto the problem is, is, it just makes me feel good to do something like that. So thank you very much for, for this question. Let's see if I can answer it as simply as possible. The amount of voltage that goes into the amplifier determines the number of watts that come out. So no, this does not constantly put out all the watts and then we just make it uh, quieter and louder uh, as this constantly puts out the watts. No, it's not the way it works. So when this amplifier, which is actually a power plant, but you know what? It has heat sinks on the side. So we're calling it an amplifier. Because <laughs> I don't have, the you know, fire's down here. Anyway, let's just play like this is an amplifier. When this is just sitting here and there is no sound coming out of it, it doesn't have any watts that it's putting out, okay? When the preamp, when we turn the volume up on the preamp here or down, that increases the level of voltage, the, the rising and falling level of, of, of voltage, which is what's eventually going to move our speaker back and forth and let us hear sound. All of it has to do with voltage. So the voltage is going up and down, and now it goes into the power amp. Well, the power amp simply takes that voltage and it amplifies it, but that's not important takes that voltage and it allows the voltage to apply, uh, and, and the voltage is a pressure, but it allows it to apply that pressure in a way where there's power behind it, which we would refer to as wattage. So imagine, uh, what's, what's, a good, what's a good analogy? Uh, the, 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 there, there's, uh, well, in engineering terms, we have amps and volts and, and uh, impedance, but those are just terms that probably don't mean a whole lot. So if you were to look at a car and imagine that the voltage uh, in, a, in a stereo system is the same as the RPMs in an engine, okay? So that higher, you know, RPMs is the revolutions per minute, and you've probably seen that, and you can hear when you step on the gas, the, the, the engine is spinning faster or it's spinning slower, or an electric 
you know, motor, whatever. So let's call that the voltage, right? So if it's spinning really fast, that's a high voltage, and it's spinning really low, it's a low voltage. Now, let's imagine, though, that this car only it doesn't have a lot of power, okay? So what do we mean by power? Well, it's the motive force that is able for us to do something. So let's say that in my car, uh, I, if I am going at 2,000 RPM, I put my foot on the gas, the engine spins up to 2,000 RPM, I put it into gear. Now we're going to take this car, which weighs, what, you know, four or five tons, um, or I, guess, I don't know, what does a car weigh? I did learn that an adult elephant weighs 12 tons, and there's 2,000 pounds in a ton. Yeehaw! Well, anyway, I, my, my granddaughter Lucy was asking the question, so we said, hey Google! <laughs> I probably just lit up, Alexa! Sorry, I'm driving everybody crazy. All your devices are going everywhere, you know, but sorry. Anyway, whatever a car weighs, a couple of tons. So in order to, to take that couple of tons from a, a, a stop to motion takes a certain amount of motive force, of power, which is watts, okay? So if I have you know, zero revolutions and then it's, I step on the gas, the revolutions start going. If I have horsepower, wattage, then the car will move forward. But if, if I can spin the motor fast, but I don't have horsepower, let's say I have a one horsepower motor, which is equivalent to 750 watts, a little piece of trivia there for you, there's 750 watts is the same as one horsepower. That's a fairly big amplifier, but a fairly small car. So with one horsepower and a 4,000 pound car, even if I, my voltage is high, my revolutions are high, when I let that clutch out and it engages and tries to push it forward, it's going to go, oh, and, the, and the voltage is going to drop down. The RPMs are going to lower down because it can't sustain it. Otherwise, the car would be zooming off like my Tesla. Zoop! But we don't have the power. So it just goes, oh, and it goes down and it very slowly picks up speed and we start moving along. Well, the same is true with an amplifier. If I have the horsepower built into the amplifier, as I start raising the voltage, it's able to apply that. That's pressure that's telling the thing put out watts to then move the speaker back and forth in the same way that we move the car. But when it's at idle, just like in a car, we're not applying any uh, horsepower to it to make it move. I hope that was a reasonable explanation to try and at least wrap your head a little bit around how a power amp works. Okay, <laughs> thanks. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.